It happened 90 minutes ago. The Biden administration is canceling $39 billion in student debt for more than 800,000 borrowers. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona is saying this. For far too long, borrowers fell through the cracks of a broken system that failed to keep accurate track of their progress towards forgiveness. There's the statement from Chicago, Austin Goolsby, our old friend, Chicago Federal Reserve President, back with us on this Friday. Austin, good morning to you. Stephen Moore misses Great you, so you again, got, don't be a stranger, okay? Good morning to you in Chicago. Uh, what bet. is this? I mean, two weeks ago, the, Fed, the Supreme Court ruled against you, 6-3 uh, against the administration. Uh, what's different this time, or you just try to take another crack or a bite at the apple? Well, Bill, as you know, the, the Federal Reserve studiously stays out of, by rule and by principle, stays out of the political fights. So I have no, I have no insight or knowledge of, of what their legislation is doing. If th this matter about student debt forgiveness is of front rate concern to those students, but if you take the macro economy, it's not, a, it's not a materially large number that would make you think it's gonna change the inflation rate or change the unemployment rate. And that's the law okay. gives the Fed that job. You gotta, you gotta tame inflation and, and maximize employment. So there may be a legal question in here for that. We'll, 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 we'll take it somewhere else, understanding your position there in Chicago. Uh, now to the economy, the Costco COO just this week said, Americans are changing their shopping habits, which indicates to them, based on history, Americans still fear uh, a recession uh, could come their way. You, however, seven days ago, talked about a golden path rising rates in the Federal Reserve, and no recession. Do you feel better, worse, or the same about that from a week later? Yeah, probably all of the above. Uh, now, I said the golden path so far, that's what we're on so far, that the Fed's job by law is to stabilize the prices and maximize employment. And if we can stabilize prices and get inflation down without a major recession, that it's rare to be able to do that, but there is a path, and that will be a triumph if we can pull it off. Okay. Now, the best part of the economy, as you know, has been the job market, and the worst part has been inflation. It's at least promising that this week we got inflation numbers that show inflation is coming down at a pretty rapid clip. But it's still higher than where we want it, but it's making progress. Okay, so the, the whole idea about changing habits, that's, I mean, that's a telltale sign. Uh, when, when, when people aren't buying meat and they're buying chicken, uh, when they're uh, buying cosmetics and candles, but they're delaying a lot of the other expenses, that could have a long-lasting impact on the economy. Quick answer on that. Indeed, it could be a sign of something slowing down, but remember that in the pandemic, we couldn't spend money on services, so we shifted to spending on physical goods, and now that's shifting back to normal. So if Costco's got a little less spending on TVs, that wouldn't necessarily be unexpected. Okay, we're watching for more telltales there. The market's been on a tear. Uh, the Federal Reserve is saying that Taylor Swift is responsible for a rise in hotel revenue. I was thinking you should hire T. Swifty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to get him out here to Chicago. The, these Taylor Swift people, they like her so much. They went out and spent so much money that it showed up on the radar screen of the Philadelphia Fed and got in the Fed's beige book. So I don't know if Beyonce is going to have a response or, or, or what we're going to do. Okay. Maybe we do a marathon session. Austin, thanks. Uh, come on back soon, okay? Thank you. We'll get you guys back together and have our Money Friday sessions there. Austin Goolsby live there in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.